Hello and welcome to Travel Africa Guide. I'm Steve Blacknell. Now, I don't know about the part of the world you're in, but we've had some great sunny days in London here in the UK. And when the sun comes out, you think, hold on, I'm ready for a holiday. But not just any holiday, but a holiday in Africa. You know, Africa has some of the most exciting holiday destinations, amazing safari tours, beautiful beaches, and some of the friendliest people in the world. Africa also boasts luxurious hotels with the very best service you can find anywhere. Imagine having breakfast in the wild, tea, toast, hash browns, you name it, all while you're watching the sunrise in the Serengeti. It's a once in a lifetime experience, and those are some of the deals we have for you today. So, sit tight, make yourself comfortable, and welcome to the Travel Africa Guide. Now, we have some amazing deals for you today. Uh, however, today is a very special day. We are bringing you the best of the best. We are bringing you the top selling holiday deals from Africa. And there is a little bit of everything for everyone. Our first stop this evening is probably one of my favourite places to visit in Africa. It is the land of the lake stars and home to one of the largest lakes in the world. Malawi is one of Africa's most beautiful countries and it is perfect for holidaymakers who wish to experience the unrivalled combination of lake, landscape, wildlife and culture. And all this brings me to introduce our first guest, Mr Ian Musiani from the Malawi Tourism Board. Welcome to the show, Ian, indeed. Thank you very much. Now, Malawi, what makes it so special? What sets it apart from all the others? I would say to you that Malawi is Africa's next go destination. I'll actually mention five reasons why. Uh, but before I come to that, Malawi in 2014, the Lonely Planet series named it amongst the top 10 countries in the world to visit. That uh, actually shows you how special Malawi is as a country. Now, coming to the five reasons as to why one should visit Malawi, the first reason is obviously Lake Malawi. I don't think I have enough adjectives to describe the way Lake Malawi is. But I will tell you Lake Malawi is great, Lake Malawi is wonderful, Lake Malawi is spectacular. If you are looking for a variety of water sports, then it's all about Lake Malawi. You'll be able to snorkel, you'll be able to dive, you'll be able to kayak, and you'll be able to swim. And all this happens in an area where there are around between 600 to 1,000 fish species, the colorful cichlids. Some of them are endemic to Lake Malawi, and some of them do, have not yet even been discovered. They don't have names. So coming to the second point, over the past five years, Malawi has actually undergone through a rehabilitation process of its wildlife areas. We are building Malawi to become one of the best game viewing destinations in the Southern African region. In 2012, one of our parks became, achieved the status of a Big Five park. That's Majete Wildlife Reserve in Southern Malawi. It's got a rhino, it's got an elephant, it's got a leopard, it's got a buffalo. Malawi is known to the world as Malawi, the warm heart of Africa. That tells you how friendly the Malawian people are. If you have a look at most of the holiday reviews, you find that uh, the people always emerge as a highlight for people visiting Malawi, which makes Malawi a people-oriented destination. We have the wildlife, yes. We have the beach, yes. We have the mountains, yes. But we also have very special people, welcoming and friendly. 
The other thing about Malawi is that uh, it's not a crowded destination. It's an off-the-beaten-track destination. If you are into numbers, then Malawi is not for you. But if you, are, if you are not into numbers, then Malawi is for you. Malawi is a lovely country. The last reason that I would uh, give for visiting Malawi is the easy vibe that Malawi has. It's not a country where you have a lot of pressure in terms of uh, traffic jams, in terms of people everywhere. It's a people where everything is easy going. It makes quite a big difference as opposed to other countries. In a nutshell, that's what I would say. I'll tell you what, I'm sold in, you got me. And uh, that brings me perfectly to the first deal of the day. 11 nights at the paradise that is Lake Malawi, staying at the stunning Gwichi Lodge and the Kaya Mawa Resort. Emerald clear water, wild beaches, tropical diving, and dining under the stars. It's the romantic escape of a lifetime. So, if you're planning your honeymoon or maybe a romantic break, this might well be for you. Take a look at this. The pollution levels are really low here, which means the clarity of the water is unparalleled. You can see 20, 30 meters visibility. You've got between 600 and 1,000 species of fish here. That's more than the America and Europe combined. The species of fish that are in the lake, particularly the cichlids, are the beautiful and um, small aquarium fish, very bright yellows and blues, and some of them have yet to be discovered. It's like going into another world, a prehistoric world. We've got this backdrop of bush, which goes on for hundreds of kilometers to the ocean hike up to these viewpoints where you can see for miles over to Malawi, you can see everything crystal clear. You can follow the tracks of the leopards and it's a mysterious place because you can follow the tracks but you might not see the animal ever. Whether you want to lie back on a chair or a hammock all day long and read your book, it's fine. If you want to hike all day long or you want to go for a run or you want to canoe, you want to have a adrenaline rush, we can do that too. Most of our fruits and vegetables from our local villages, so they're grown organically and fresh. And then the rest comes from the Mad Wilderness Agricultural Project. So the food you eat here is fresh, 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 fresh. It's so great walking around and seeing a spot that you think, oh, this might be wonderful for a picnic, and being able to have the picnic there. You can eat wherever you want, and you can eat whenever you want. In Quichi, there's no time, there's no schedule. They're unique, our chalets. They're all individually designed. They're using local materials built into the rocks, into the surrounds to really give you a feeling of the nature. You walk down your path and then you reach your doorway, open the door and you find your own little sanctuary, your retreat away from the rest of the world even. It's beautiful to be able to take a bath by candlelight under the light of the moon. You can stargaze while you're taking a bath. They make guests feel a part of the place. Wow, Lake Malawi is gorgeous. And watching that clip, I just feel like I want to go on a plane and go there right now. Ian, the lake itself, what sort of things can you get up to there? There are quite a number of, there are quite a number of activities that one can undertake when on, they're on Lake Malawi. Uh, the activities include scuba diving, snorkeling, yachting, kayaking, 
and even swimming. And again, the other thing is that uh, with Lake Malawi, there's also a lot of bird life. So if you're into birding, it's possible to do some bird watching from some exclusive lo locations on Lake Malawi. So I would say Lake Malawi, it's, it's everything. Uh, everything in terms of water sports that you'd be able to find on the oceans, you'd be able to find on other water bodies. You could do those things on Lake Malawi. But the difference lies in the fact that Lake Malawi is a fresh water body. That's the unique part of Lake Malawi. And it's one of the few water bodies in Africa that have been developed for tourism purposes. It sounds just heavenly. Yeah, fresh water too, marvellous. Mm -hmm. In, thanks for a second. Uh, so here's the deal, everybody. 11 nights shared between Quinchy Lodge and the Kayamawa Resort and full board. On arrival in Lilongwe, you'll be met and transferred to Likoma Island, where you'll be met by the Kuichi boatmen, who will then transfer you across the lake on a two-hour cruise to the lodge. Uh, Kuichi is a paradise hidden on the pristine shores of Lake Malawi. Much more than a lodge, it's a complete experience, offering a unique taste of Africa with exquisite lakeside scenery and unparalleled tranquility. Oh, only if. Uh, eight secluded beaches set on a four kilometres of uh, Rift Valley coastline embrace the lodge. And over the next few days, you can indulge in activities such as snorkelling, canoeing, sailing and horse riding and can even enjoy a picnic under a 2,000 year old tree or spend the night under the stars. On day five, you'll be transferred by boat to the spectacular Kayamawa Lodge, where you can relax and enjoy an escape from the mainland. Over the next five days, you can fill your days with quad biking, scuba diving, and as Ian said, snorkeling and water skiing. And while there, you can also visit an arts and crafts initiative, one of many community projects set up by the resort. And did I mention your suite comes complete with your very own butler? All of this luxury from just under £2,500 per person. So call the number on your screen for more information. So Ian, uh, for such a small country, Malawi has so much. I mean, uh, what are, what's your personal favourites uh, about the country? Uh, it's a diversity, as I mentioned again uh, when we had just started. It's uh, the offerings in terms of tourism resources. There's so much to do and so much to see within a geographically, comparatively geographically small area. Uh, wildlife, it's growing, and uh, I can assure you within the next five, year, five to ten years, Malawi should be one of the leading wildlife destinations. A public-private par public partnership agreement was signed between the government and African Parks Foundation to rehabilitate some of the parks which had uh, which had actually had a lot of wildlife populations poached out. So now the exercise is ongoing, and I believe in terms of wildlife, Malawi will be doing well. And then you're looking at uh, accommodation facilities along Lake Malawi. They're always improving to international standard. The bed capacity is growing. And uh, there are quite a number of things that I would say are moving in the right direction. Ian, yeah, thanks so much. And I think. Uh well and truly sold, sir. Uh, now, uh, when I'm on holiday, it's important for me to learn about the culture of the place I'm visiting. Um, and, of course, the Malawi people. Ian, the people themselves, what, what sort of people are they? I'll come to the point. Uh, the strapline for Malawi tourism is Malawi, the warm heart of Africa. That's how Malawi is known in the world, and that's how we sell Malawi to the world. All this is based on the friendliness of the Malawian people, and they are welcoming nature. Holidays to Malawi, you feel culture, you see culture, you dream culture as you travel in Malawi. It's not a culture that comes in a package. It's culture that is felt and experienced everywhere as you travel in Malawi. Malawi is quite a densely populated country, so wherever you go, you meet people. You not only meet people, but these are people who are more than willing to speak to you, these are people who are more than willing to have some cultural exchanges with you, to learn about your culture, and these are people who, are also, who also teach you about their culture. Actually, if you look at, again, most of the holiday reviews, the people of Malawi always remain a highlight 
on a visit to Malawi. It's been a great pleasure. Thanks so much indeed. Thank, thank you. Well, it's uh, Malawi's variety of attractions that uh, are its greatest asset. And while Lake Malawi dominates the country, this is not a country of a singular attraction. It's the mixture, as Ian said, of beautiful landscapes, fascinating wildlife and rich culture that combine to make this small country such a wonderful place to visit. However, it has to be said that the jewel in the crown of this country's tourist attractions is Lake Malawi itself. Join us after the break as we take you to one of the last remaining executive monarchies in Africa. See you soon.